With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here the question is, a wedge shaped block A of mass capital M is at rest on the smooth horizontal surface. A small block of B of mass small m is placed at the top of the edge of a inclined plane L as shown in the figure. By the time the block B reaches the bottom end, the wedge A moves a distance of what? Now students, here in the figure we can see there is no external force acting on the system. So we can say the, the center of mass of the system center of mass of the system will not change. Now students, let us consider this is the initial position. Now let this be our y-axis and this is x-axis. Now the wedge, let us consider the wedge as a, has a length x from the origin and the wedge B has the x coordinate of center of mass as this is L. So, we will the, we'll get the horizontal position as L cos L cos of theta. So, we can say the x coordinate of, um, of center of mass that is the initial center of mass will be that is M1 that is center of mass of the A that is M capital M multiplied by x plus small m multiplied by L cos of theta whole divided by whole divided by whole divided by total mass capital M minus plus small m. Now students let us consider the latter position that is this is the uh, this is the y coordinate and this is the x coordinate and the wedge has moved a distance x1 this distance is x1 so and the b b wedge reaches the ground and it has moved a distance x1 now this distance of b from the cell origin is x1 and the wedge has a distance x1 plus x so we can write the final center of mass xf is equals to capital m multiplied by x plus x1 plus small m multiplied by x1 whole divided by capital M plus small m. Now, as the center of mass do not change and there is no external force, we can write xi is equals to xf. That implies students mx capital mx plus ml cos theta, this is small m. This is small m divided by capital M plus small m is equals to capital M multiplied by x plus x1 plus m into x1 whole divided by capital M plus small m. So, both these will be get cancelled out and we will get capital Mx plus ml cos of theta is equals to capital Mx plus mx1 Sorry, this is capital M. Capital M X1 plus small m into X1. That implies students MX, MX will get cancelled out. And if we ML cos of theta is equals to if we take if we take capital sorry X1 common we will get capital M plus small m. That implies students the horizontal distance that the wedge covered that is X1 will be equals to ML cos theta divided by capital M plus small m. That is option 2 is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.